It is Wednesday, March 17th, and this is your English instruction for today. Our learning target reads, I can complete the modules over commas on no red ink. So we're taking a break from our essay today to kind of work on commas for a little bit because this is something that's gonna benefit you on your essay. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna do this and the next practice together because I want you to see just a couple of practice problems. In my opinion, commas are kind of easy once you get kind of the gist of them, but they can be tricky kind of until you get that rhythm of where they need to go. Essentially, we have to look for prepositional phrases are the big one, but then also parts of the sentences where we would naturally have a pause. So in the sentence of Gail Hawthorne knew that the picnic, whether long or short, would be a great chance to catch up with friends. My trick with commas, and this works with prepositional phrases and it works with other things that are separated with commas as well, is if you can take whatever is encapsulated by commas out of your sentence, your sentence should still be a standalone and make sense on its own. So Gail Hawthorne knew that the picnic would be a great, a great chance. If we said Gail Hawthorne knew that the picnic would be a great chance to catch up with friends, that sentence makes sense on its own. So this whether long or short, this phrase here that's between our commas can be omitted and our sentence would still make sense. It would not change the meaning too drastically of our sentence. Very minor meaning change. Oliver Wood told us that the muffins were freshly baked and had extra chocolate chips. And this one, we don't need any commas at all. Oh my, I can't believe Sirius Black can stand on his head for so long. So in this one, oh my, this is like an exclamation we have at the start of our sentence. So that gets to be separated with a comma, and then we have the remainder of the sentence. Pretty easy stuff. All right, wow, comma, morning Myrtle can say the alphabet backwards while standing on her head. I'm going to try to fly through this as fast as I can, because the next one's the one I want to talk to you the most on. Candace Everdeen, dare I say it? You could take dare I say it out of our sentence and it still makes sense. This is what we want. Keep growing. Cody Miller promised that his puppies, though young and small, could pull our sled. Like I said, I'm just going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Lizards, despite their small size, lizards are related to dinosaurs. No, comma, I didn't know Vincent Crabb collected light bulbs. That's creepy if you're collecting light bulbs. Like one of every kind or just burnt out light bulbs or just a weird obsession with collecting light bulbs. I don't know, it's a weird one. Whenever my goggle realized that the life-sized teddy bear was too heavy to carry and couldn't fit in our car, so this one doesn't need anything. It all flows the way it is. We have our conjunctions in the right place, so we don't have to do anything to that sentence. Timon showed us that the penguins were playful and liked the zoo. I think that one's fine as well. Yep. Oh my, comma, Peter Pettigrew can tap his head and rub his belly at the same time. You should try that if you've never tried that before. It's a tricky little thing to do, but it's really good to get your brain functioning. Pumba noticed that the seashells had unique patterns and made interesting sounds. We don't want any commas here. We're not saying it. We're not having any pauses in our speaking with that sentence. So we did it. So I'm going to hit begin next topic because this is the one I want to talk to you on. This is the tricky one that's kind of messing up people. So this is the instance where commas are helping to separate the adjectives that we have that are describing a specific noun. So depending upon what adjectives we have in the sentence, it's going to determine whether or not we need commas present. So for example, when we have a number, we don't need to have comma, commas unless there's multiple adjectives present aside from just the two that go with it. So two daring flips. So I'm going to take these out. The flips are daring, and there's two of them. So the two modifies both of it. So they're both daring flips. We don't want any commas with this one. Cho Chang picked three crunchy apples. Same scenario. We need to make sure there's no commas here because then the, by having it this way, it's demonstrating to us that all three of the apples are crunchy by having no commas separating our information. Gilly Lockhart played tag with a lively, friendly gazelle. So this is one we're going to have to use commas with with our adjectives. In this instance, gazelle is the noun that we're referring to. That's an animal. It's an antelope, if you didn't know. Lively is referring to our gazelle, and friendly is also referring to our gazelle. But lively is not modifying friendly in any way, because it's not lively 
in a friendly way or anything like that. It's saying the gazelle is lively and the gazelle is friendly. In this instance, that's when we're going to have this comma separating our two adjectives to separate them out. I'll do a couple more. I bought a plate of soft, warm, gooey brownies. So they're gooey brownies, they're warm brownies, they're soft brownies. They're not soft warm, they're not soft gooey. But each of these individual adjectives modify specifically brownie. So that's why we divide them up there like that. Draco Malfoy uses favorite wooden spoon to stir the nacho cheese. In this instance, we don't need any commas. So it because spoon on its own, we know what a spoon is. Or I'm going to assume that you know what a spoon is for the most part. A wooden spoon is a specific object in this instance. We need to have this attached to it because it's telling us what object we're talking about. But then we're talking specifically about his favorite wooden spoon. Since wooden spoon's an object and we're talking about one specific one, we're not going to have those commas added in there whatsoever because it's being specific the one we are referring to. So I'm going to exit on this preview because I think I've walked you through enough. There's one more thing I'm going to show you. On your noting screen, it'll probably look something along the lines for your assignments like this, where you have commas the base basics, but also using commas for clarity. So this section's a little bit different because I wanted to try something new this week. So in here, what you're going to have to do is you're going to hit read more on this, and it gives you this big italicized prompt. You're going to copy and paste that into this box. Then what you're going to do is, after you copy the paragraph over, then add six commas so that the writing is formatted correctly and reads clearly. You're going to look out for these places when you might need to add commas. And then you can click on these to expand them and they'll give you some ideas. After you've gone through and added your six commas, you're then going to write on the question of why did you put the commas there, explain the changes that you made. I've gone through this in class with uh, students at the end of one of my class periods. We found all six spots. I found four of them just like reading through it the very first time. The other two students pointed out because I skipped over them, but it's not because of my inability to understand where commas go. It's just the fact that they were in a hurry. So I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Just read carefully. The easiest way to find them is to read this passage out loud. And every time you kind of take a natural pause, that's where a comma would probably end up going to help the flow of your writing. So that may help when you're doing this section. As always, no writing is due Saturday at noon. We have our essay, which is a rough draft, is due on Monday of next week. So make sure you are conversing with me as we are progressing through that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day.